When people ask me where do I teach, if I say corner of 367 in Chambers, they automatically go, oh, Grace. Grace Chapel is a very solid fixture here. The fact that we are here visible and we've been here so many years that people uh, respect us, for, first of all, for that. The school was a, um, as far as the community goes, I think it, it was a stabilizing factor for a number of years because um, a lot of people stayed in the area because of the school and the congregation um, is very supportive of the school. Um, they have always been very interested in uh, educating children and have, have been very supportive of it. We moved to St. Louis after my dad died suddenly when I was six. And so my mom um, knew she wanted us to go to a Lutheran grade school, just like she had. And so um, really no ties in the area other than my cousins went here and my aunt highly recommended it. We came and just fell in love. We were very nurtured. It wasn't an easy time. Faculty and staff were just outstanding and along with the care and nurture, we got a great education. I think of this place as my second home. I have family here, I have friends here, and friends have turned into family. And students are not just students for me, they're my kids. Because I develop those relationships with them from the moment they walk in the door, at, even when they were kindergartners, all the way up until they graduate. So it's almost like when they graduate, you're like, oh my goodness, those are my babies. There are a lot of different opportunities. It's fun to be able to compare to what was here when I was a student and now what's been here for my children. Some things are consistent. A choral program, a band program, rigorous classes in that both my daughter and myself took algebra in eighth grade. Library time, which is just precious and wonderful. Um, chapel and getting the opportunity to do participate in chapel. I do not think they let us leave chapel when I was a kid, but now the classes take turns and I think that's a wonderful chance for them to nurture their own faith as well as communicate that to others. But some things have changed. There's student council now that my two oldest kids have been a part of and have loved. There's a chime program and a handbell group which they've done and I'm sure my youngest can hardly wait to do that. A lot of the athletic offerings are the same. Um, got to play volleyball, basketball, got to do pom-poms, there's cheerleading, soccer, um, just a gamut of sports. When they graduate from here, they're well prepared for high school. In fact, most of our students go on to Lutheran North and are some of the top students at Lutheran North and then go on from Lutheran North to have careers um, that contribute to the greater community as well. Some of the kids, I have a number of students who are in very interesting professions, uh, teachers, pastors, lawyers, uh, just about any profession that you can think of. And uh, many of them come back and thank me for being their fourth grade teacher and giving them the guidance that they needed. We as a school have done an amazing job being able to put ourselves out there so that people know that when they drive by that there's things going on here. And I think that people from the community can see how loving and warm and welcoming we are by bringing everybody together to do different types of outreach. It's funny that you ask why did I pick Christian education because I actually had a friend say what was your decision and it comes down to I want my kids to know their faith needs to be a part of everything. It's not just a Sunday morning thing. It's not just a Christmas and Easter thing. It's every day before lunch. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen.